everyone, for this video, I'm going to demonstrate the oil cleansing method. Um, I've gotten a couple of questions about, you know, my skin care and what I do. And one of the things that I think has really made a difference in my skin is um, moisturizer or extra moisture. Um, I know when we have um, blemish prone or acne prone skin, um, we tend to stick to stay away from or moisturize as much as possible because we feel it's the oil that's um, causing our skin to break out. But in actuality, um, our skin needs the moisture and by giving it the moisture that it needs, it causes the body to calm down its production of uh, sebum. Sebum. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> but um, it so it causes that to shut down so your body won't go into overload as far as producing too much oil. So this method of the oil cleansing uh, method, it uh, cleanses the face and gets the gunk out of the pores, but at the same time moisturizes it so you don't get that, you know, drying, over, over drying of the skin. And like I mentioned previously, olive oil is very good for the skin. Um, it has a lot of uh, fatty acids that the skin needs. So, um, and you see it in you know a lot of products. So, um, it is something that is good for your skin. The other component to um, the oil cleansing method, besides olive oil, is um, castor oil. And this is just regular old. Right, a castor oil. Although on some posts I see um, people get, you know, organic castor oil and things like that. So whatever works for you is fine. And also there's different blends. So sometimes it's a little bit of experimentation you have to do. Um, some people use things like um, uh, sunflower seed oil, um, Jehovah oil, uh, or jojoba, how <laughs> you say it. And um, so it's about a, a trial and error, but um, I use the standard olive oil and castor oil blend. Um, I've transferred it into a little jar that says olive oil, castor oil. And this mixture is about 75% olive oil and 25% castor oil. So the things that you need are those oils, a thick washcloth, and some hot water um, to uh, use the washcloth and steam your face uh, with after you apply the water, um, after you apply the oil. So since I'm kind of detached away from the sink, I just filled up a large cup with some hot water. So I'm going to put my uh, washcloth in that now so it can kind of get up to temperature. Okay, so what you do is you take a good size amount I fill up the mm, can I get that to show the palm of my hand with um, twice with the whole dropper full so that gets about let's see how I can angle this uh, you're not gonna see it anyway I do that and then I apply the oil all over my face my forehead and even over my eyes which also helps me get um, any makeup that I have missed you also get a couple of benefits as I've read online that um castor oil is good for eyelashes and help your uh, eyebrows to grow in which I think it has helped for mine. Um, I have horrible ends here, but they're getting better. Day by day, they're getting better, and I haven't really been messing with them too much. So they're getting, they are improving. Um, so you just massage, massage. It's almost like a facial, in a sense, because you're taking a little bit of time out for yourself and. Um, paying extra attention to your uh, skin. So I'm not gonna bore you with the rubbing, so I will speed this up. Okay, now what you do is you take your rag that you have steamed in the hot water. 
making a mess. I am making a mess, but um, you get all the excess hot water out and you take it and you do this and you let that steam on your face and work out all the impurities and you let that sit there for a minute. funny story about this is my daughter she always says that um, I look like I've been kidnapped when I put this on my face um, which I always say I said girl you watch too much CNN what do you know about being kidnapped at six years old so you can do this uh, several times you know the steaming and um, I'm gonna do it one more time And what you do is you gently wipe it off of your skin. All right, so there you have it. That's the my that's my demonstration of the oil cleansing method. Um, there are several things you can do after this. You can um, some people follow up with their favorite cleanser, do their cleanser, toner, um, moisturizer. Uh, some people just take a, another like small handful and a little bit of water and just massage some more oil into their hands and um, into their face and you know that's that's the rest that's the rest of the that's it that's that's the only thing that they do um i kind of do both just depending on how my skin is feeling um this depending on how much cast oil you can put in you put into it it will you know make your skin feel just as tight as if you had put a toner on because um, they really do work out the impurities in your skin um, basically my routine uh, now consists of doing my uh, regular face wash facial wash toner moisturizer and in the evening time um, using olive oil and the oil cleansing method to uh, cleanse my face and then follow with a toner and moisturizer. Um, if it's during my cycle, I will um, do the, um, moist, the, ah, the facial cleanser after I do the oil cleansing method as well. Not a deep scrubbing, but just kind of um, a go over just to make sure that all the uh, surface bacteria has been uh, removed which I feel that this method generally does but you know during your cycle um, the skin can go a little extra haywire so you know I want to get a jump on those hormones and make sure I'm doing everything you know in my power to make sure that I don't you know get a, a bunch of breakouts during that time so um, so you can see I've sat for a couple minutes I know you may not be able to get to see anything but yeah, I really like this method and I feel like the extra moisture has uh, made all the difference in the world um, with my skin. Um, so you ladies and gentlemen, if there's any gentlemen that are watching, have a good evening. All right, peace.